Today, I'm gonna to take you through a 30 minute full body dumbbell workout focusing on tempo training. That's to maximize the time under tension during the set for optimal results. I'm gonna be using two pairs of dumbbells today. One slightly heavier pair, 15 kilos, that's about 33 pounds each, and one slightly lighter pair of sevens, that's about 15 pounds per dumbbell. We're gonna kick things off with a brief warm up using that lighter pair of dumbbells before we move on to the main strength section. So we've got four exercises in the warm up. We're gonna do 30 seconds each, just linking them straight one after another, and we'll do two rounds. So we're gonna start off with a goblet squat. So if you take that lighter dumbbell, stand with your feet shoulder width apart, we're gonna go nice and slow on the way down. So we're gonna take four counts down. One, two, three, four. Let's pause for one, two, one, two, back up and repeat. So one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, up. And we're gonna repeat around this tempo. So nice and slow, extended pause, back up and down. Nice and slow, extended pause, back up and let's grab those other dumbbells and we're gonna come up to the top. We're gonna press up, same tempo. One, two, three, four. No pause this time, straight back up and one, two, three, four. So we're extending the lowering phase, focusing on a nice, smooth, slow, eccentric. Always finish your rep. And then we're gonna go Romanian deadlifts. So same again, four counts down. Let's pause for two seconds at the bottom under stretch. Scoot through and repeat. So one, two, three, four. Feel those hamstrings stretching. Scoot through straight into the next rep. So imagine someone's pulling your hips backwards. You're keeping your lats engaged. Back up and one more. Onto the mat now, arms out to the side, knees up, and you're just going to do some side to side drops, just loosening the lower back off. You want to keep the opposite shoulder on the floor as you drop down. So you're controlling the weight of your legs, they're not just falling passively. Go okay, back to your feet. Straight back into those squats. So slow tempo, down, extended pause, smooth on the way up, and then straight back into the next rep. Slow tempo down, pause, smooth on the way up, no rest at the top. Take that other dumbbell. So we're gonna press up, straight back down. So we're not gonna rest at the bottom or the top on this. So we've got about two counts up. One, two, then straight back down for four. Two counts up, one, two, and then twice the length on the way down. to the Romanian deadlifts. So nice and slow on the way down. Pause for two under stretch. Squeeze the glutes through, straight into the next rep. Squeeze the glutes through, straight into the next rep. Keep those shoulder blades wrapped back around your body, keeping the back flat. onto the mat for those wipers. Great job. So we're gonna move on to the first section now. 
I'm going to be using those 15 kilo dumbbells. We actually only need one dumbbell for the first exercise. We're going to be doing 30 seconds on and 20 seconds off. Um, some of the exercises have got two sides and we'll have a slightly shorter transition on those. We're going to start off with what we call a sprinter lunge. So we're going to reverse back into a lunge. You're going to step backwards into your lunge. You're going to lean forwards, letting the dumbbell come down. We're going to have a nice, slow, eccentric lowering phase and then a little bit more power on the way up. You're going to step back. We're going to slowly drop down, leaning forwards over the quad. Press to the top and repeat. So as soon as that toe plants on that back leg, I want you to start slowing down the lower. We're leaning forwards over the front leg. And that's going to increase the stretch on our glutes. So nice and slow, lower down. Finish the rep off. Okay, we're going to take it to the other side. So you're going to switch hands. So you've got the dumbbell on the same side that's stepping back. Lean forwards, gently touch that knee. Try not to rest at the top too long. As soon as you plant that back foot, you're slowing that tempo down. So have a little bit more power on the way up, but then minimizing the rest time at the top, therefore maximizing the time under tension. When you lean forwards, we're trying to do it with a flat back rather than slouching. Don't worry too much about the clock, always finish your rep off. Okay, next up, I'm gonna take both dumbbells. I'm gonna do a strict press, basically just an overhead press. Tempo-wise, I'm gonna do two seconds up, four seconds down, just like we did in the warm-up, but with a heavier weight this time. So one, two, and then one, two, three, four, down. One, two, two, three, four, and repeat. We're trying not to lock out for too long at the top, because that's just resting on the locked elbows. And I'm not coming quite down to my shoulders, because I don't want to rest them there either. I'm trying to keep that tension. Great job. Next up we've got deadlift. So this is going to be a dumbbell deadlift. So I'm going to push back like we're doing a Romanian deadlift, but when the dumbbells reach knee level, we're going to start bending the legs to get a little bit deeper. Again, four counts down, pause at the bottom. So we're going to go one, two, three, pause in that position, flat back, scoot through and repeat straight into the next rep. Nice and slow and smooth on the way down. Pause when you get there. Scoot through, so push the hips back, unlock the knees slightly. When the dumbbells reach your knees, you can start bending your legs, press through the floor, squeeze the glutes, and then go straight into the next rep. Always finish your rep. Okay, just gonna do an isometric hold in this next one. That just means basically brace and keep the muscles the same length. So we're going to do a hollow hold. So your lower back should be on the floor. My head and shoulders are slightly off. If you're struggling, try bringing your legs a little higher or bring one knee in like this. That's fine as well. But if you're able to do this full hollow, you can try and go lower down, but you need to keep that lower back jam flat to the floor. As you can see, that creates a high amount of tension as I'm struggling to talk. Great job. Here we've got a brief rest, then we're straight back into those lunges. So we've got those sprinter lunges. So it's different to a reverse lunge because we're adding in that forward lean, giving the extra stretch to the glute, called the sprinter lunge because you think of the start position of a sprinter which is probably something like that. Let's get you ready to go. So dumbbell in one hand, step back with that same leg, slow the tempo down on the way down, push to the start, straight into the next rep. So try not to rest at the top, 
and just briefly touching my toe for balance and then coming back into the next rep. I'm leaning the chest forward over my quad, but keeping my shoulder blades wrapped back slightly and engaged, avoiding any rounding of the back. Taking it onto the other side. Taking both dumbbells for that overhead strict press. So we've got two counts up, four counts down, not resting at the top or the bottom. Try and keep the glutes tucked underneath and the ribs driven down slightly so that you're not overarching your lower back. I'm trying to press up, and I'm actually trying to press back slightly to finish above the crown of my head, as opposed to finishing above the front of my forehead. Let's finish that eccentric. Onto the deadlifts. If you're finding it too easy, you can always bump up a dumbbell. But we're trying to maintain that nice controlled tempo today, so I've gone a little bit lighter. So hip, hips pushing back, bend the legs, pause at the bottom for a couple of seconds, scoot through and then straight into the next rep. Let's not milk the rest time at the top. For a deadlift, your feet should be a bit narrower than your squat maybe hip width apart, and there's no turnout to the feet for a conventional deadlift like this. Keep the dumbbells nice and close to your legs. Finish your rep off, regardless of the timer. And onto the hollow hold. Start to get a little warm now. So whether you want to bring one knee in or two legs out, whatever variation suits you, but whichever one you're doing, your lower back's staying pressed to the floor. So head and shoulders slightly off. Great job. So there's two rounds done. We've got one more to go. We're gonna use the same format but different exercises using the lighter dumbbell pair if you've got a selection. So let's get those sprinter lunges ready. Slow on the lower, no rest at the top. Make sure that front knee isn't collapsing inside of the big toe. Keep it slightly externally rotated. So that's not turning your foot out, I mean turning the knee out to try and point closer towards your little toe. Onto the other side.
job. Final time with that overhead strict press. Remember, no resting at the top, no resting at the bottom. Maintain the time under tension for the whole set. to the deadlifts next. So it's gonna start off like a Romanian deadlift, but then once you start reaching that knee level, you're gonna allow a little leg bend. Maybe you're bringing the dumbbells halfway down your shins. And then you're gonna press through the floor like a leg press and squeeze up like a glute bridge. Pause at the bottom, press through the floor and squeeze the glutes through. Keep the dumbbells running nice and close to your legs. From a bird's eye view down, the dumbbell handles should always be staying over your shoelaces, or at least over the tops of your feet. All right, onto that hollow hold. Remember, you can opt for this single leg hollow. Keeping that knee in will help keep that lower back flatter. But if you've got it to do the full one, that's great too. Great job. So we're gonna take a break now, moving down to some lighter dumbbells. I'm gonna use some seven kilo, that's about 15 pounds each. If you're enjoying training with me, and you fancy trying more of a sets and reps plan, I've got a 12 week dumbbell ebook out, which I'll link in the description of this video. It's a plan with a periodized approach to it. It's got uh, video demos for all the exercises. So check that out once you've finished the workout. We're gonna start this next round with some single leg Romanian deadlifts, taking our time on the lowering phase. This is gonna test your balance. So you're gonna hinge, I'm gonna pause in the stretch, scoop through, and gently touch that toe for balance, and go straight into the next rep. Try and keep the back leg toe, pointed down towards the floor. And that'll stop your hips from aeroplaning to the side. Don't worry if you're wobbling, all part of the learning. Finish your rep without rushing it, and get ready for the next leg. So hinging at the hip. Although you can unlock the knee, of the supporting leg. I don't want you to bend it more as you go into the Romanian deadlift. You need to keep it relatively straight. You need to keep your shoulder blades pulled back enough so that you don't round your upper back. Lead with the heel, don't go too far with the body. Great job. We've got some lateral raises. So we're gonna focus on tempo. Again on this one, so we're gonna come up to the top. Let's go about two counts up, and then we're gonna go about four counts down, and I'm gonna try and get you to not touch the dumbbells on your sides for the whole set. So we're gonna go up one, two. I'm gonna pause for one, and then one, two, three, four. Up one, two, pause for one, and then one, two, three, four. I'm not touching my legs. 
showing that I've got a little bit of tension on the dumbbells the whole time. You can unlock the elbows a tiny bit, but let's make sure we're not turning it into a full front raise here. Let's finish the rep properly. Great job, okay, we're gonna take one of the dumbbells. We're gonna do a dumbbell jackknife. So this is gonna be like a leg raise mixed with a reaching crunch. I'm actually gonna keep my lower back on the floor for this. So it's more of a crunch than a sit up. So we're gonna reach up, I'm gonna try and touch the dumbbells on the tongues of my shoes. And then I'm gonna open out, basically into a hollow hold position, keeping the lower back flat. Reach nice and high and repeat. If you're struggling, try keeping the legs bent, but keep the angle fixed like this. And if you can do straight legs, great. All right, tricky one next, but great once you get used to it. We're gonna do a W raise. So we're gonna be in a bent over row position. You're gonna pull the thumbs back behind you, making a W shape with your upper body. So you're gonna pull up. Imagine you've got a pint of water in each hand and you're chucking the water behind you each rep. We're gonna try and pause for a split second at the top if you can, although that might be a bit heavy, but at least lower back down with good control. And take a rest. So we've got two more rounds of that. So for those, you know, pull, chuck the water behind you, squeeze the back muscles and then slowly lower back forwards, obviously in a bent over row position. It's a great one for hitting the rear delts, working on a little bit of external rotation of the shoulder. But let's get ready for those single leg Romanian deadlifts. Taking your time on the way down, pausing in the stretch, coming through, touching the toe for balance and repeat. Try not to open the hips out. Try and keep them squared to the front. Great job, onto the other side. Pause and stretch, hinge through. Gentle toe tap. Big mistake I see is people going too far with the body and not high enough with the leg. So maybe bring the body up a little bit higher and bring the leg higher and that's gonna be the finished position of your Romanian deadlift. those lateral raises. So remember, we're gonna hover just off the sides of your body to start and finish each rep. You're going two counts up, one pause at the top, four counts down. So we're coming up, one, two, pause, and then lower with control, nice and slow. Before it hits your legs, straight back into the next rep, pause, slowly lower down. Taking one dumbbell, got those jackknife crunches. So you're gonna do a reaching crunch whilst you do a leg raise. Try and reach your shoulder blades off the floor when you crunch. Tailbone should come slightly off also. And when you open out, 
Don't let that lower back leave the floor. Onto those W raises that I was explaining before. So you're gonna work on that external rotation, make that W shape with your arms, staying in a kind of a 45 degree bent over row position. Great job. Okay, we got the third and final round and that's workout complete. This workout is actually part of a 30 workout six week dumbbell lift series. I believe this is day 10 of the series. So if you're doing that, well done for getting to the end of week two. And if you're not doing that, check out my playlist and you'll see the whole series in there. Let's go for this final round. that other side. Well done, all those lateral raises next. Let's keep it nice and neat all the way through. One, two, pause, and then four counts down. Don't touch your legs straight into the next rep. onto the mat, got those jackknife crunches. All right, last exercise of the workout. Got those W raises.
And that's a wrap, workout complete. Thanks so much for joining me for that. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that workout? And where in the world are you joining me from? I truly do love to hear that. Here's the next workout in that 30 workout six week lift series. And if you fancy hearing more about that 12 week dumbbell plan ebook, I'll put a little preview video here. Hit the thumbs up button, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you again soon for another workout.